So, um, my name is Omar, by the way. What's your name? Michael. I'm Michael. Michael, how you doing? Okay, I'm fine. Um, so, you've never met me before, and um, you've never, yeah, you just were just passing by, and I just stopped you. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. All right, so nothing is staged here. So because a lot of people, uh, when we do this, they think, oh, this is staged. So it's not staged. Um, I didn't know Michael before he was walking past, and he just happened to be walking past. So what do you think of uh, what do you think of uh, Muslims? Uh, I I don't have a general opinion on Muslims as a whole. They're it's a whole diverse uh, bunch of people that believe in certain things, but I don't think you can classify. Uh, people by well the religion in, as a, in general I mean there's a whole different, different things that make somebody who they are and religion is one part of it okay so what do you think of um, Islam in general I, I don't I don't have uh, too much knowledge of it I probably wish I had more I have interaction with uh, Muslims maybe weekly I uh, I go to the mosque kitchen in Edinburgh which is uh, good cheap food good food <laughs> yeah uh, the Muslims I know have always been uh, very friendly very open about their religion uh, the, the, what I know about the religion, um, it's it's not it's not what I believe, but um, it's you know it seems to be. Um, so so it'd be fair to say you don't know the foundations of Islam, what a Muslim is, and what what they practice and whatnot. It's, 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 some bits, some not. You know, I, I know um, I know some how they interact with other like monotheistic religions, and I know like uh, the, how the basics happened. You know, uh, Muhammad was a mountain, I believe, or something, and uh, the. Uh, Allah appeared to him and, and things like this and then uh, I know some of the basics but I, I don't really know the theology that well. I know there's some uh, differences in what different uh, Muslims believe in terms of, I don't know if you're watching any TV programs, you get different Muslim scholars discussing different things. So uh, you have uh, maybe conservative ones, traditional, I don't know, if the Sharia and stuff like that and then you have other people who um, maybe don't take that view and I think that's fine to integrate uh, Islam with uh, so, um, so I heard you say there that you. That, so basically, nobody's actually sat down and took the time and said, you know, this is what Islam is, and giving you a very short, maybe five minute breakdown on what 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 Islam is, and because the view that you've given us is sort of like um, it's a masked view of things, because um, in the Muslim tradition, that like, I take it, do you believe in anything yourself? Um, jury's out on that one, I'd say. <laughs> so would you say you're more agnostic than anything? I would say I, I'm brought up uh, Christian, and uh, and I think. Uh, I, I'm not. I wouldn't say agnostic. I think that I, I would. I would definitely say there is God. I don't. I. I'm not sure. I'm personal. Okay. So God. So by religion. Uh, that's cool. No. I, I remember being at that stage once yeah. in my life as well. Because uh, I just recently got practicing. What maybe about five, six years ago. Because we're born Muslim doesn't mean to say that um, we're brought up as Muslims or we have a Islamic background. Um, basically, your knowledge was not far off what I used to believe at a, a certain time in my life, until somebody took the time out and talked to me. Um, so, if you don't mind, do you mind if I explain to you what, uh, what a Muslim is? Uh, thing. All right, so, basically, a Muslim is um, somebody who believes in God, obviously, oneness of God. Now, what the version of God in Islam is, um, the Islamic version of God is um, very, very short and simple. Is the I, though I, I can try my best to describe it, but usually we let the Quran speak for itself. Yeah. So in the Quran it says Bismillah rahman rahim uh, Don't freak out. I'm not gonna no. do anything to you. It's Kul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufu anhad. Basically it says Kul Kul huwa Allahu ahad. Say He is Allah. He is Allah. Yeah. yeah. So He's one. Kul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. He is self-sufficient, meaning He doesn't eat, sleep, drink. He's got no weaknesses, etc. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He's not begotten. He's not begot. Uh, he doesn't beget. So. He's not created, he's not been given birth to, and he doesn't give birth, he doesn't procreate um, like some other religions out there might um, have an obscure view on. Lam yulid wa yulad wa lam ahad, and say there is nothing like him. So in Islam, God is one, he doesn't sleep, eat, drink, he's limitless, he's not bound by the creation, the creation laws, because he's created them. For example, um, the creator of this table doesn't have the properties of the table. He doesn't have the laws of the table to no. function, whatnot. For that, that's a, that's an analogy that we tend to use. Um, he's 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 not he's not a gender. Even though I keep saying he, yeah. um, as in Arabic you get masculine and you get feminine words. And most of the words that relate to God are masculine. Though well, you do get feminine, but the ones for worship and power and etc. The usually masculine words. So in Arabic you don't get the word it. So that is that is God. So that's something that he's not. He's not. We don't put a body to him. We don't put a. We don't think he's a creation. We think he's totally separate from the creation. Does that make sense? Yes. So does it make sense? Okay. Um, after that, um, 
we've got the Quran. We say he's one. I've got to make important that we have to stress that he's one in Islam. That if you think that God is two or something, that you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no training. There's no. There's no two, three, four, five, six, seven gods uh, because um, that'd be like. Imagine America had uh, America, America had two presidents. Now look what's happening just now. There's two people struggling for power, and the government just shut down. Well, it's a strange one. Uh, I mean, there's different religions. You know, if you look at ancient religions, then they have many gods. However, uh, Christianity is one god, but it's three persons. It doesn't make sense, does it? It's a difficult thing to comprehend. However, you could look at a particular flower and see that maybe uh, you're looking at clover, or three of clover, and it would say that is one particular, um, I don't know, plant. But it, it has three objects inside it, and you know. But if you took one clover leaf off it, the the flower would die. Well, you, yeah, but you can't de deconstruct the same. This, in the same sense that it's uh, hard to comprehend how uh, in Europe and, and by the way you said Islam, the God is separate. God is one. God is not. Uh, he made the table. Yeah, it's a mis the mysteries. Okay, that is um, that's uh, what you come to term when you when you read the Quran. So obviously, I don't think you've read the Quran. Uh, you, have you read the Quran? I think I've, I've I meant to. I've not even read the Bible, so I can't. Uh, the Bible, the the Bible and the Quran, two separate books. Uh, I, you know, if you, yeah. yeah, if I'm gonna read, yeah, if I, I should read one and then read, the other. read the other. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, um, now it makes sense that he's one because if there was two gods, it says in the Quran that if there was more than one god, they'd be fighting. Yeah. There would be the, and then God would not be all powerful. Yeah. So uh, one of God's names, I uh, see, he is the all powerful, yeah. and that means that he's got control over everything. Um, so it would make sense if there was two of them, then one would be all powerful and one would be the other. And the, the one it's not would not be God. The one is all powerful, he would be God. Um, the, sec the, the revelation, now what you were saying about Muhammad went to a mountain and Allah came down. No, Allah never came down. What happened was, um, uh, it wasn't a dream either. Um, what happened, it was just the first five. Um, people get a lot of misconception. They think a lot. the Quran was revealed entirely in the mountain. So what happened was Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, he went up to the mountain and angel Jibreel, Gabriel, uh, he, he appeared and he said Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq He said read in the name of your Lord And he only re revealed five verses So these five verses were in the mountain And the rest were round about where other people could see um, When it was revealed And it was revealed over a 23 period of time A uh, 23 year period of time So um, that's how the Quran was revealed It wasn't that he wasn't the whole He came up and he, it was like some people say You know what I went to I went behind the bush and God spoke to me And um, nobody else could see it but that was just me and um, there's no witnesses or whatever. We, we we don't say that. What we say is that just these five first five were were revealed at a time when it was just Muhammad. And and when when you read the whole story, it's going to take more than five minutes to explain. When you read the whole story, the but the backdrop behind it is that um, these things are all irrelevant because first you need to establish that um, if God's there, if what not. Because if God's there, then these are possible. And if God, if you don't believe in God, then these things sound like a fairy tale, because. Um, what we say is that if, if if you believe in God, then he is he can do everything. Like I said, he's all powerful. Therefore, he can perform any miracle that he wants to perform. 